An Arizona man shoots himself in the groin with his own gun and now could go to jail for it. If only there was some way this could have been prevented. A man while shopping at the Walmart, somewhere near his home in Arizona, shot himself in the groin because he tucked his gun in the front of his sweatpants and went shopping. Then, when he dropped the gun, as will happen when it's tucked in your sweatpants, he was grabbing for it and discharged a firearm, struck him in the groin, and now he's facing charges of recklessly discharging a firearm in a public place. Which is good. He should be punished for this. This is completely irresponsible and reckless. This is a negligent discharge, not an accidental discharge. And the way to stop this is, ta-da, with a holster or some other method to carry your gun securely. This holster from Uncle Mike's is probably 15 bucks. Works wonderful, has a little clip so you can hook it on your belt or the waistband of your pants. If you're going to go out of the house in sweatpants, you need to carry your gun in a proper fashion. Maybe with a fanny pack designed to hold your gun like this one from Elite Survival Systems. I use it when I'm working out. Maybe with this cool rad man purse. It's really tactical. You can hold your gun, spare ammo, a knife, a first aid kit, anything slung right over your back. It works wonderfully well. If you're wearing sweatpants, how about an ankle holster? Put it on your ankle, put the gun inside, and carry it securely. The key to a good holster is that the holster firmly holds the firearm and covers the trigger. This from Sticky Holsters retails for $25. Covers the trigger of your gun, make sure it doesn't slip out of your pants, and provides easy rapid access to the firearm. A Little bit slow to reholster something like this, but if you need to draw your gun, you don't want to reholster it quickly anyway. What I'm telling you is get a holster. Do not carry your gun just by tucking it in your pants. That's what we call felony carry. And there's a reason for that. It's how the bad guys do it. They don't get training. They don't care. We are the good guys. We have to care. Make sure that you are carrying your firearm in a properly made, well-built holster. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. Hey, let's keep this conversation going. Comment down below, tell us what you think. Tell us how you carry your gun when you're not dressed normally, in some other fashion. If you're wearing sweatpants, how do you carry your gun? If you like these videos, please subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that notification bell up in the corner. We'll notify you every time we come out with a new video and I'll give you more great information every week.